Hi, my name is Rich Harrington. One of the best new things in After Effects CS6 is the performance cache. And what really works well about it is it cuts down on problems with undo and redo or trying out different options. What's also cool is when you open up your project, you're going to be exactly where you left off because it can actually cache preview files and keep them on your hard drive, whether it's your internal or the network drive. And this works great because it's just going to speed up the preview process. Here's how it works. Now, you'll notice here in this particular project that I've got a green line indicating that all these frames have been cached. Now, that's pretty cool. I want to show you the settings here in the preferences. I'll choose Edit, Preferences, Media, and Disk Cache. And I'll turn on the disk cache here, and I could set a file size limit for how big it's allowed to go, and choose a folder. And ideally, what you could do is use a fast hard drive or an SSD to hold this cache, or even take advantage of some of the cool things like the Fusion I.O. cards that allow you to target a very, very fast blade-type server right inside your machine. Now, as you do this here, watch what happens. Let's say I make a change to this composition. Everything's been rendered in cache, and I've got that, and I decide, you know what, I want to modify things. Let's set this to full here, and you see we've got those frames. But I change the color of the backdrop a little bit. Well, when I go to cache it again, you know, it's going to go through, and it's going to go pretty fast because this top logo animation was already rendered. Those frames are going to get stored, and it just has to composite that over the background. Now, that's fine, and I'm doing this at full quality here, so that's very, very fast. And notice everything's loading in, and it's processing. If I change my mind and go back, or I choose undo, watch what happens. Those files are still there. The blue ones are being read from the disk cache. So even though I experimented and tried something, I can go backwards, and I didn't lose any of my real-time performance. So that makes it really easy to jump in there. This performance disk cache just speeds up your workflow. You have the ability to experiment freely and not lose those precious preview files. Obviously, a big thing people forget, just preview at half quality when you're doing your basic previews. Those are four times faster, half the width and half the height. So let's run the options here with that faster preview, and we'll really put the GPU to work. I'll drop this down to half quality, and we'll set the resolution here to half, and we'll just drop that in. There we go. Plows through those frames. There's my quick preview. I'm going to decide, you know what, that's good. I like that one. What's that going to look like as just an orange backdrop? I've got different adjustment layers here changing the colors. Because that logo had already been processed, it's going to go a bit faster through the logo. And then everything else is just going to cash in. There it is. And so I'm showing this to a client. Do you like the orange backdrop? Well, I don't know. Could I see the green backdrop again? Sure. There's the green backdrop. Oh, I like that one. What's it look like if it's just purple? Well, let's take a look. There we go. I do a quick preview. Again, it caches in very quickly. Notice there as I just press play, it's actually processing the frames and loading them as well, so I don't even have to use RAM preview. One benefit of a faster machine there is that you're almost getting near real-time performance on those different layers. So once that's cached, it's going to play back very smoothly. There it is. There's my real-time performance. And so I could bounce between versions, and notice as we do that, it's going to call up those frames. So this becomes very easy to take a look at the different options and run them without having to keep RAM previewing the whole time. So what I really like about this is with a fast hard drive, we're getting great performance on that disk cache. And when you come back the next day after closing and opening a project, everything is there. All your previews, all that performance. Thanks for joining us. My name's Rich Harrington.